Starting paediatrics as a medical student can be really daunting. Here are my five top tips for starting on the right track. Tip one, be opportunistic when you're examining children. By this, I mean that in medical school and when we're learning how to examine patients, we learn a very systematic way. So, you know, you go down the systems and that's how you examine, but that just isn't practical. And so it doesn't really work in paediatrics. So you need to be prepared to be flexible. For example, if you're examining a baby and the baby is quiet, it's probably a good time to listen to the heart sound because you're going to need the baby to be quiet to hear them. Whereas other parts of the neonatal examination, it doesn't matter if the baby's moving around or is upset. Same when you're examining toddlers, you're going to have to use the opportunity when the child's happy and be adaptable. You might not have the perfect positioning for the exam and you might not be able to do it in the perfect order, but do what you can when you can. Tip two, listen to the parents, particularly when they're telling you that they're really worried about their child. You're only seeing a snapshot of the child, but the parent obviously knows the child best. If they're telling you that they're worried that something is seriously wrong, then make sure you don't dismiss that. You need to really take the time to listen to them, to really understand what they're worried about and consider that when you're making your assessment and your diagnosis and plan. Tip three, remember that you've got two elements of patients here. You've got the child and you've got the parent. Both of these groups need to be heard. The younger child might have different worries from the parents and they'll certainly have a, a different agenda for the consultation. Take the time to really understand the agendas of both the parent who's there or parents and also the child. Listen to both and make your assessment and plan taking them both into account. Tip four, use a play therapist if you can. Pretty much every situation in paediatrics is made better by the presence of a play therapist. That includes examining children, doing investigations, taking a history, basically anything is going to be a lot easier if you've got a play therapist and you can include them. So make sure you think about that. Check in your department if there's a play therapist available and try to use their expertise whenever you can because it's really going to help you have smoother consultations, smoother assessments and the whole process of ED is going to be much easier for the family when they have a play therapist involved. Tip five, have a range of techniques to build rapport. Remember that the child is the centre of the consultation. So rather than directing all your chat to the parent, make sure you talk to the child first. Introduce yourself to them, they can introduce you to their parent and you can chat to them about what's been going on. Gear the whole consultation around building rapport with the child because you're going to get a much better assessment and you're going to get a better understanding of the child. A few top tips from the DFTB community are if the child's worried about examination or you think it's not going to go well, you can use the child's teddy and do a, an examination on the teddy first to show the child what to expect and this can help the child really relax. Make sure you know Paw Patrol and have an idea of what your favourite character is. This is a deadly serious part of paediatrics. If you don't know Paw, Paw Patrol, you're going to find out you're missing out on a lot of the nuance of building rapport in your consultation. Similarly, make sure you know your favourite Disney character and ideally have a favourite dinosaur that you know a few of the characteristics about that you can chat about. And finally, have an idea of what your favourite ice cream flavour is and why. If you don't know the answer to these questions, you're going to end up looking daft in front of the child and you're going to miss a real opportunity to build rapport. Take paediatrics seriously and that's part of it too. These are our top five tips on getting started in paediatrics as a medical student. If you enjoyed this video, you'll like our new YouTube channel on non-clinical tips on surviving medicine, which is Bubble Up, and you can see it there.